Thomas and Mabel. The quarry on Thomas's branch line was busier than ever. There were plenty of orders for stone, which meant more trips down the line for Mavis. She was delighted. It was refreshing to leave the quarry. There were so many trucks that Percy couldn't take them all himself. The other engines sometimes took mixed trains to help him. Toby was used to this. Thomas complained bitterly. Why should my passengers have a bumpy ride because Percy can't manage another couple of trucks? It's more than a couple I'll have, you know, huh, Percy. Besides, those trucks are better at behave than ever thanks to Mavis. She could at least shunt them properly for us, grumbled Thomas. Her job is to manage the quarry, not your train, chuckled Toby. You just want to laze around in the shed. Thomas fluttered. But Percy and Toby just laughed. The next morning, Mavis rumbled in with the trucks. As she shunted them to the siding, Thomas stirred. Morning, Thomas, she smiled. Fresh stone for you. How wonderful, said Thomas. It's lovely coming down the tramway early in the morning, mused Mavis. I wonder when I'll get to see more of the line. Suddenly, Thomas had a cheeky idea. I was in your wheels once. I was stuck at the big station, but I wanted to see more. The fat controller saw how well I shunted trains with the other engines, and he rewarded me with this branch line. He paused for effect. I think, continued Thomas, if you were to shunt trains, the fat controller would be quite pleased. A little initiative can take you a long way. Down the line, that is. I'll have some time before I'm due back at the quarry, Mavis smiled. Perhaps I can shunt your train before I go. How's that for in initiative er, helping out? What a splendid idea, Mavis, remarked Thomas slyly. Most kind of you. For several days afterwards, Mavis would shunt Thomas's train after she bought the trucks down. At first she was eager to help. But balancing and shunting with quarry work soon wore her down. This didn't bother Thomas. All he cared about were a few more minutes of shut-eye. One morning, Mavis fussed into Farquhar and found Percy waiting. Hello, Mavis. You look tired. Never mind me, she huffed. Where's Thomas? Helping out at the big station for the morning. I'll be taking Annie and Clarabelle instead. Well... I'll have your train shunted as quick as I can. Why would you shunt my train? quizzed Percy. Mavis explained her conversation with Thomas. Oh, that Thomas scowled Percy. I knew he didn't like shunting, but I didn't think he'd stop this low. You mean, shunting was how Thomas got his branch line? <laughs> if that were all it took, I'd have my own branch line. You let him shunt his own train from now on, if he's so good at it. Mavis was fuming. She wanted to pay Thomas out. And that's when an idea struck her. Yes, Percy, she smirked. That's exactly what I'll do. The next morning, the sun rose over the sheds. Thomas was fast asleep, having a lovely dream, when suddenly... Thomas! Thomas! Wake up! Thomas's eye jolted open. His driver was frantically trying to get him started. Hmm... <sighs> What's wrong? He yawned it. You overslept, scolded the driver, and now you're late. Thomas gasped. He looked to the station clock. Sure enough, it was almost time for him to leave. The passengers stood impatiently on the platform with no coaches on board. Where's that Mavis? He grumbled. There was no time to ponder that. Thomas hurriedly fetched his coaches and readied his train. He worked as fast as he could, but he was very late as he set off up the line. He was later still when he arrived at the big station. The passengers erupted from Annie and Clarabel. They had some choice words for the station master. Naturally, when the fat controller found out what happened, he had some choice words of his own for Thomas. The next morning, Mavis was surprised to find Thomas wide awake when she arrived at Farquhar. 
This is a surprise, she teased. Decided to change your own train for once? I'm sorry I tricked you, sighed Thomas. I certainly made a fool out of myself, didn't I? He paused and looked at his lockers. You've worked hard for the last few days, much harder than I have. How would you like it if I worked at the choir in your place for a while? Mavis was surprised. Oh, Thomas, do you mean it? Of course, smiled Thomas. There's no better way to see more of the line after all. The fat controller made the arrangements with the quarry manager. Mavis was soon hard at work on the branch line, while Percy took Annie and Claremont. She handled the goods work. She reveled in her journeys through the junction, and proved to be really useful. And Thomas? He worked at the quarry for quite some time. It was hard, dirty work, and the trucks put him through his paces. He was thankful when Mavis did come back. And when he returned to his shed, he felt his shut-eye was well earned.